Hi everybody, it's Frankie and I'm back. But I like to talk about the bariatric stuff that I'm going through right now. It's not just getting your stomach taken out. There's a lot more to it. So, it happened a couple months ago. I went to the doctor. I weighed 291. And she said to me, well, this was a whole new doctor. I've seen a doctor for tw over 20 years. And she never mentioned anything about weight loss surgery. So I got this new doctor. And she said, have you ever thought about weight loss surgery? And I said, well, I thought I was too old. And the other doctor said, never said anything about it. And I said, I, was, I think I'm too old. And she said, you're not too old. So I'm 55 right now. So... I said, okay, so what do I have to do? And I had to make some phone calls, make some appointments. And first of all, I had to go talk to a dietitian. And we talked about different food and different food portion controls and protein to eat. And she showed me a plate, but you seem to have the part of the whole plate so I went to get this book that I was given by the nutritionist and she said to fill your plate should look like this when you eat and I'll hold it here so you can read it all right so that's what your meal should look like and this, this book is um, from the doctor, or from the nutritionist place. It's through Henry Ford Health System. So it has um, a little diary that you should keep track of your food. It has um, little recipes that you can make. It talks a lot about protein shakes. And then um, some meal ideas. Turkey burger with sweet potato fries and chicken enchiladas. Peanut butter whip, apple cinnamon yogurt dip, and it has different recipes. So you're not going to starve when you get this this done. And it has a sample, 1,200 calorie sample meal plan. And I'll just skim that for you. Okay, so... You, as long as you like measure out your food and weigh your food, you should be okay. And they want you to eat a lot of snack items like walnuts, mixed berries, one medium banana, almonds, pistachios. But it has to be measured. Like you can only have 10 walnut halves, 18 almonds. 24 pistachios, 1 ounce of cashews, 2 ounces of tuna, 2 ounces of deli turkey, no salt added, 3 cups of plain air popped, air popped popcorn, um, stuff like that. So, um, so I went to the, I went to her first, and she gave me this meal plan. And then I had to go get some blood work. They took six tubes of blood. They did everything from my thyroid to my liver to my kidneys. Um, I, they did a full lipid profile. The only thing that was a little high was my triglycerides, but I take medicine to try to control that. But it used to be over 500, but it's down, it 
was at that day it was 202 so it wasn't terrible but it was a little high and I take cholesterol medicine so that's I've gotten that under control too and they couldn't get it out of my arm and they had to take it out of my out of my hand but she got it going I don't know what was wrong with me that day I was real nervous so I got the blood work everything looked okay I got the to talk with the dietitian and then I had to go talk to the doctor this is a big process so I went and talked to the doctor he said it would be good for me to get this surgery and he wanted to know which one I wanted and I said we'll take out 80% of my stomach 85% of my stomach I'm really getting scared it's starting to get punch time here and then I had to, to go to three more, I have to have three more appointments. So I went to the cardiologist to check out my heart. And that was um, a couple days ago, I went to the cardiologist. And he said, he cleared me, he said, I'm okay. Because I had a stress test not that long ago, and I was I cleared that. So the, the cardiologist is good to go. And now I have to have a psychologist test and I have to, I had to set it up on my phone with the phone app and I'm gonna to have to do that for one to two hours sitting on my cell phone talking to somebody from that has a PhD because of COVID you can't go in person so I have that's set up for next week and then I have to go to an, um, the doctor that does colonoscopies and endoscopies I have to get an endoscopy because I have a hiatal hernia so and they're going to go down my throat and check out my stomach to see they have to see the inside of my stomach to see if it's still if it's okay to have surgery so this whole thing is nothing but doctor's appointments and co-pays so so far I have two more to go through two more appointments and then in November I have to go back and see the dietitian so we have this special scale and it's not just there's other scales out there and I'm going to share with you my weight loss so far so on August 12th, I am nearly kind of funny about showing my weight. On August 12th, I weighed 289.6. So I went down to 287, 285, 284, 281. 279 280 I went back up to 283 I must have ate good that day then I went back I was still at 283 here we are it's uh September not September 5th then I started going down a little bit more on uh, September 11th I weighed 278 and then I went down 276 277.2 and then I went down 276 then then on 1021 I went down to 275.6 and I weighed myself today I'm at 277.2 my target weight's 200 pounds but I don't know if I said this already, but I weighed 291 when I went to the doctor. Yeah, I did say that. I weighed 291 when I went to the doctor that day that she mentioned the weight loss. So I've lost 91, 81, about 14 pounds so far. But I have to get down to 264 before they can do the surgery. The reason why that you have to shrink your liver because they have to move the liver out of the way 
to get to the stomach. <sighs> oh boy, I just, uh... And then, I don't have very good skin. I, my skin keloids. So I showed the doctor my, I have, I had two surgeries on my stomach. They had, they were like these big red knots. And I, I have scars from that and it's more scar tissue. So I don't know if he's going to have to, maybe he can take that. I have another scar there that, so I've already got scars on me from other things that happened to me. So, someone wanted me to share the story of the bariatric. So, that's it so far. I've been to the blood work, the dietitian, the heart doctor, and oh, I have two more appointments. And after I had my first, my son, I only had one son, I got down to 177. And that was the smallest I've been in a long, long time. So when I was pregnant, I got to 200. But I was working, I was fit. I used to be a letter carrier, so I was real physical, strong. My body was nothing but muscle. So it was like a muscle 200 not a fatty 200 but then after I had him I didn't work anymore and that story is on on one of my first videos way posted a long long time ago so you couldn't if you want to watch that you can watch that go back and find that well, I have a couple of Dollar Tree items I'll share with you that I forgot to share last time. I have a glue gun, but I don't have any glue sticks. And if I ever need to do a little project or something, I'll have some. So I got me some glue sticks. 20, 20 glue sticks. And I found these. This was, I found them about... Um, over a month ago, but I forgot to show them. Uh, these are called roller cutters. You can cut, I believe you can cut fabric. And these were from the Dollar Tree. I've got two. I had this big idea that I was going to make face masks. But I, I did make a couple of face masks, but it took me eight hours to make four. I just couldn't get that fold right, and my fingers just didn't want to work right. Eight hours to make four face masks, and here they are, these girls on YouTube are making them, and, oh, it takes five minutes to make a face mask. Well, not this girl. It took me eight hours to make four. I just couldn't figure it out. Anyways... I was trying to use scissors to cut the fabric, and the fabric was just going. And I tried to sharpen the scissors, and I just still was. The scissors weren't sharp enough, or something. And then they wanted like fifteen dollars for a roller blade at um, Joann's. And then I come across these, and I thought, well, I wonder if this would work. But I have to get a mat. But I've been wearing those masks that, that are um, disposable, the blue paper masks. <sighs> There's songs out there that people has written about the coronavirus. If you just search it, you can find it. Just put song about coronavirus. <sighs> I think he was a rapper and he wrote a song about it. It's really, really powerful talking about hoarding, hoarding food and everyone stay inside it's a pretty good song I can't play it because you know how YouTube is with their copyrights and everything well I rattled long enough 
I'm going to keep you informed about this weight loss bariatric surgery. Uh, wish me luck, everybody. I hope I can get down to 264. I've lost some weight, so I'm, I'm, I just need to exercise, and that's not something I like to do anymore. I tell you, food and exercise is, good food is important, and exercise is important. Fast food is, I've eaten enough fast food in my day to, I wish I had all the money that I spent on fast food. Whew. Could buy a new car. But, you know, you're out there riding around, oh, I want a hamburger from McDonald's. Pulling a drive through then you go and get a hamburger, get a hamburger, coke, and fries. And then you go to drive another day, you're driving down the road. Oh, I think I want some Taco Bell. Pull into Taco Bell. Uh, all right, another day you're driving. Oh, White Castles. Mmm, I could eat about four White Castles and fries and a Coke. And you're driving another day, you're driving down the road, and you go to... Let's see what else is out there. Arby's. I like these. I liked Arby's pretty good. They had. I like their roast beef. But all that has to change. And pizzas. Oh, we've had. Me and my husband both have eaten enough pizza. We're gonna have to stop all of that. Just be a little more health conscious. And got to live longer, got to live longer. It's important to take care of yourself as much as you can. I wanted to do this for me. I don't really do much for myself. So I wanted to do this surgery for myself. And the, the heart doctor said it would be good for me to get this done. He could tell I'm pretty miserable. Just by looking at me, you could tell. So, everybody have a good day. The, the weather is getting cooler. The trees are falling. The leaves are falling. Not the, not the trees are falling. But the leaves are falling. The, the colors are coming through. Then it's time to start raking leaves. Well... That's all I gotta say. I've said enough for now. Okay, thank you everyone for watching. Bye bye.